instead of just learning and memorizing material from a book or a lecture, we're actually taking what we learn and using it to create something new of our own. This is a cube set and it's one of the first hands-on activities that we did. We're going to be designing a CubeSat that can image algae blooms on the East Course. Through the CubeSat course, we learn about uh, CubeSats, how they function, and then we get to engineer a real satellite. I'm part of the assistive technology course, and with this, we're creating a lot of new things. Even if they're made out of cardboard and duct tape, I find being able to create things really interests me and it makes the class a lot more interactive. AT was a field that I knew existed for a while, but I didn't really get involved with it until I started one of my long-term projects, essentially focused on using AI computer vision to help the visually impaired. We inspect data packets, hack websites, ethically, of course. But I love how the BWSI program allows me to conduct research and experiments with something as fun as video games. I knew that there would be a high level of rigor um, and that I would definitely be learning a lot and making good use of my time. My project is making a small wearable smartwatch for my co-designer. Uh, I need to use computers that are very small, like smaller than credit card. So I love learning about new things, specifically the intersection of entrepreneurship and technology, because I love applying them to my community and making a social impact. I love engineering and cars, and this was a perfect way to dive deeper into both of those areas. And we learned that testing is a core part of development. and. I don't know how many tests I've run uh, on my computer. <laughs> like, I wouldn't be surprised if it was over like a thousand. I'm part of the Embedded Securities course. We're doing an um, ECTF where we're, we're making an entire uh, firmware system. I'm in the SAR course, so I've spent the last couple of weeks creating a synthetic aperture radar software system with my teammates. I am in the Autonomous Vehicle course, and even though the course is virtual this year, we are able to recreate what real missions and AUV operations would look like using simulations. Every day is uh, a new lesson, um, not only technical skills, but also through the seminars, I've learned a lot about what it means to be an engineer and the engineering field. The seminars have been super informational. Uh, the classes that we've learned are literally college grad level classes about topics I'm super interested in. So. Really, everything that I've done, I've never really felt out of my depth, but I've also never felt like I'm not being challenged enough. I thought this course would be a great opportunity for me to apply some of the concepts that I've been learning on and off about reverse engineering. There are these things called CTFs, capture the flag competitions, which are like Jeopardy style hacking tournaments. And yeah, this really excites me to learn more about the field. I've not only improved my technical skills, but I've also learned more about various fields in technology and how different systems work. And going through that process, as well as a lot of the amazing presentations that we've gotten from the expert engineers in our technical seminars, has showed me what it's really like to be an engineer in the real world. And I really liked how I was able to see how all these kind of fields that seem unrelated all actually tie together. Being able to you know, learn about something through a lecture and then apply that knowledge to real hardware uh, is something that I think is unique to the BeaverWorks program and is really a lot of fun.